When I was getting ready to study for the PE exam, right in the beginning, I was struggling a lot to find time and to just be consistent with my study habits. But after I read this book, Atomic Habits, it really improved just my mindset and my framework about studying for this exam consistently. And I buckled down to study a total of 164 hours without taking a course. So if you're struggling to find time or, or to build a study habit, for the PE exam, I think this book's for you. Let's go. I'd like to divide this video into three parts. First, I'd like to tell you a high-level summary of just what stuck out to me from this book, and then describe my actual routine, what I actually did when I was studying for the PE exam, and lastly, go over a spreadsheet where I documented all the hours that I studied and how many hours each month I studied to give you some insight of how I changed before I read this book and then after I read the book. You can go on and read book summaries for Atomic Habits and it's probably going to be a better summary than this short version here, but the two things that stuck out to me were first most people, when they think about the habits, whether it's in 21 days or however many days to build a habit, they think of achieving one specific goal and they just want to create certain actions to achieve that goal. But what Atomic Habits does is it tells you to actually change your identity first, to build the habits not in terms of one specific goal, but around who you want to become. For example, don't build a habit necessarily to just run one marathon to put a put your shoes every day and then go run a marathon if you frame your mind around becoming a runner thinking no i am a runner then even if you run five minutes a day six minutes a day whatever it is you are actually casting votes for that identity that you're becoming in my case the identity was becoming a professional engineer so i my mindset change was I'm not going to study to just pass an exam. I'm studying to become a professional engineer. And I think that helped me get motivated to keep going with my study habits. The other thing that goes along with this is that the habits are very small. So James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits, tells you to make very, very small commitments. So small that it's pretty much impossible to say no. So in my case, it was studying just 30 minutes 30 minutes and didn't even have to be every day i just wanted to get to a maximum of five hours per week so 30 minutes a day i could do it and i was able to actually do it for several weeks i think if i had set a goal of studying for two hours a day i would have overwhelmed myself trying to give up on so many other things in my life that i probably wouldn't have done it or not as consistently. The last highlight from the book that stuck out to me is that habits are the compound interest of self-improvement. So 30 minutes a day may not have seemed much at the time for me because 30 minutes I only solved one, maybe two questions, but over the course of three months, four months, it was a lot, it built up. It was like compound interest. It built up so much that I could see the difference in when I started studying to three months later when I had accumulated a lot more hours. I actually woke up at 5.30 a.m. I'm a morning person, so you may have a different routine, but for me, I already had the habit of waking up and reading the Bible every day with my morning coffee, so I just built on top of that. I just started studying for 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes after I had coffee in the morning and sometimes an hour depending on how that day was. That was great for me because it was a small step and was already built upon a habit that I had before. So I was able to do that over the course of several months. And then over the weekends, I took practice exams pretty much, either four or eight hour practice exams. And then I would review those practice exams throughout the week. And now I'll take you to my actual spreadsheet to show you how many hours I was studying in the beginning and then how many more hours I increased after I read the book. So here you can see the daily log that I put together 
for how many hours I studied. And I started very early on in June 2020. I didn't take the exam until April 2021. So even though it may seem that I started super early here, you can see the summary here divided up in, into months that I didn't study almost anything between June and September of 2020. I started getting fired up. I wanted to study a lot, set a lot of goals. They didn't go so well. And it wasn't until October when I actually started listening to this book, Atomic Habits, that I was started to put in more hours. In November, I finished the book and you can see I put 37.25 hours in that month. And that's not to say that I, I stayed consistent throughout the coming months, but it helped me tremendously to just put in those 37 hours in November and propel my study habits. By April, I had completed 164 hours. So I think it was worthwhile reading this book and just getting motivated. Of course, you also have the deadline factor that once it gets closer to April to exam day, you double down on your studies, whether you read a book or not. I think you're going to study more because the deadline is approaching. But I think if you want to avoid all the stress and actually divide up your study hours into something that's more doable for your schedule and that's not going to deprive you from your social life and from spending time with friends and family, I think planning ahead and building small habits like this will help you tremendously. If you want to buy Atomic Habits, I have a link in the description below you can use or you can also get it from your local library. And if you want to dive deeper into my study prep, what material I used, the exams I took and how much I scored in each of them, feel free to check out this video here where I dive deeper into my 164 hours of studying for the PE exam. And I'll see you next time.